may, to quote Burton Goldberg, an expert on the new age of medicine, autism is the canary in the coal mine. But you know all this because you've lived it. Seeing what Jenny's been through has taught me one thing, that we have to trust our own instincts. If we've learned anything from Hurricane Katrina, it's that we can't always rely on government agencies to do the right thing. Oftentimes they will avoid the obvious cause of a problem if the solution is inconvenient. And I certainly wouldn't trust the drug companies to regulate themselves. God knows they're far too busy fighting the terrible scourge of restless leg syndrome. <laughs> But I'm not a cynic. And I didn't come here today to concentrate solely on what's wrong with the system. I believe there is a positive reason for everything that we go through and even the most challenging and painful things that happen to us have a purpose. These children have a purpose. It probably has something to do with making us aware of our excesses. And even more importantly, teaching us how to love. Without Evan, I might never have seen the greatness of Jenny's spirit. My daughter Jane, Jenny, and Evan are the greatest things that ever happened to me. And learning how to love them has made me a man. So dads, hang in there. You need these kids as much as these kids need you. Lastly, I want to say that I believe very strongly in visualization and faith. Everything that has happened to me that's good has been the result of my willingness to believe totally in how I want things to be as if they already exist. Let's dare to do that today. Let's dare to believe that they're greening our vaccines. The vaccine schedule has been changed and our kids are receiving fewer doses over longer periods of time. Let's dare to believe that we have substantially improved the quality of our children's lives. And because of days like today, future generations are virtually free of autism. I promise you that if you dare to believe that thought, everyone who is in a position to make a difference will be compelled to do so. And we will all share in this victory. I wish you peace, love, and oneness. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now I have the pleasure of introducing the lady I share my life with. She doesn't want me to build her up too much, so I'll just say one thing. The source of all that is good <laughs> is doing some of its best work through her. And I'm honored to stand behind her. Please welcome Jenny. Down here. <laughs> Guess what? We're not at the Marriott. 